going? You're watching the Iron Will Vlog. Your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi sport, and endurance events and training. So it's getting that time of year when things are just all over the place. It's Christmas next week. Uh, it was my mom's birthday a couple of days ago. It was my birthday last week. We're at Christmas parties, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and all the drinking and fun and food that goes with it. All this sort of combines to make December and sort of the end of November and the start of January one of the worst months for me for training, fitness, and health in general. Because I just tend to overeat. I find I have no time to exercise. It's tough. We're about halfway through now. Uh, so halfway through the silly season. And just gotta keep going. Keep doing as best as I can. Now food and alcohol wise, I'm not going to not have lots of food, good food, and lots of alcohol, good alcohol. It's about managing it as best as you can. So for me, what that kind of means is intermittent fasting as much as possible. And there are multiple types of intermittent fasting, as I've mentioned before. In the past, I have done a 16-8 method, which is fast for 16 hours, eat within an eight hour window. Another method is called OMAD, which stands for, so it's O-M-A-D, one meal a day pretty self-explanatory you have one meal a day so therefore your fasting period is about 22 ish hours of the day and you eat across maybe two hours or so something like that I'm kind of doing a mixture so I'm doing fasting at least from the dinner from the night before and I don't eat until three ish maybe five ish maybe six ish p.m. it all sort of depends on what's happening on the day. I don't make it too strict. I just try to restrict my eating as much as possible throughout the day. So that is what I have been doing this week, is trying to do intermittent fasting as much as possible. Um, also this week, uh, very important, uh, major thing was Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker came out in cinemas, finally. The last movie in a non-ology, so nine movie series, and it is going to finish at this ninth movie. There is no more in the main Star Wars series, but there will be spin-offs and spin-off series, etc., etc. But this is the last of the Skywalker saga, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I'm a long-term fan of Star Wars. So back in the 90s when they re-released all the Star Wars films with the, yes, the George Lucas special updates, uh, that was when I first saw the movies. So at the cinema, when I was a little kid with my dad, it was awesome. I absolutely loved the movies. Then the prequels came out. I loved them. I was about 10 or 11 when, those, when they started coming out. So that was the perfect time for me to enjoy them. Because of course Star Wars is a kids movie. Just recently with the new series coming out, I have been really enjoying them. There are parts which I dislike, but also the whole thing, I just, I still love it. It's Star Wars. And with my seeing of Star Wars this week, I have actually seen it three times already. I got tickets to go to the red carpet premiere of Star Wars. Um, and then I also went to the midnight session after that. And then the next day I took off work because of course I was going to be very late home watching Star Wars until midnight. So until after midnight, 3 a.m. I think it was, I got home, maybe 3.30. So I took the next day off and went to go see it again that day. But here is some of the footage from the red carpet premiere. <laughs>
where I am running around at the moment is it used to be a hospital there's buildings all over the place boarded up um, all the a lot of the buildings are closed a lot of them with do not enter signs across them excavation apparently there's a lot of asbestos in all these buildings so they can't really do many works on them the area itself is now home to the sydney college of the arts so it's like an arts university so you check out this building could even be haunted now this week yeah it's christmas and then there's new year Pretty steep sections here. Ooh. That about does it for me this week. If you want more swim, bike, run, and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.